So what is moisture content of wood? It is the amount of water contained in wood and the importance of moisture content is that it affects the weight, shrinkage and strength. The higher the moisture content, the higher will be the weight and below FSP fiber saturation point, the moisture content affects whether shrinkage or swelling and it also affects the strength. So before we see what is a moisture content and how do we calculate that, let's um, learn some basic definition that we need to know to use moisture content. The first one is green wood. So the green wood is uh, a recently cut down uh, wooden piece or tree um, that it has not been yet seasoned or dried. Um, we may assume that it has 100% moisture content um, relative to air dried or seasoned wood. Um, it has, we can assume that all the fibers are saturated and it, it also may have uh, water in the cell cavities. So then what is oven dried wood? So when we get the green wood, we can do seasoning or reduce our uh, moisture content in green wood to uh, achieve a certain amount of moisture content to avoid uh, weight loss or gaining to avoid shrinkage or uh, swelling and to get a uh, target strength so we can do drying uh, so oven dried wood is the wood that is dried at oven at 100 degrees celsius to 105 degrees celsius until a constant weight is gained and the process of drying the wood is called seasoning another term we need to know about um, using or designing or developing wood products is equilibrium moisture content emc the moisture content at average atmospheric condition is called if we can attain a equilibrium moisture content for a wood the wood will not uh, neither gain or nor lose moisture content so it will be stable and it is useful because it will not shrink or lose weight or gain weight or swell um, over time so the emc depends on temperature and humidity the wood handbook provided by usda us department of agriculture says that for a fixed humidity increasing the temperature will reduce the uh, equilibrium moisture content on the other hand for a fixed temperature if we increase the humidity our emc will increase so what is the application of moisture content and equilibrium moisture content so for now if we have a wood and we know its moisture content our target would be to take the mo current moisture content to emc so that um, it doesn't gain or lose uh, weight or it doesn't shrink or swell and so the product remains in a stable condition so how do we determine the moisture content of wood so according to ASTM standard D4442 there is four different way that we can determine the moisture content in the USDA handbook there is two process explained which one is oven dry method and another one is electrical electric method the oven dry method is the most widely used and popular method so we're going to talk about this one so since we talked about what is the oven dry wood is so you know the definition so the moisture content can be determined if we know the mass or weight of the water present in wood divided by the oven dry uh, weight or mass of the wood multiplied by percent so multiplied by 100 to get the percent so how do we get the mass of the water so if we can weight 
the green wood or when we cut the wood and we oven dry or season at 100 degree 200 degree 105 degrees celsius until the moisture content becomes stable so that's our oven dry weight um, so if we take the difference we can get the mass of water and we divide it by the uh, oven dried wood weight and multiply by 100 so we can get the moisture content now we're gonna do a simple example of finding uh, moisture content for example uh, given is the green wood weight um, which is 317.5 gram and the oven dry weight is also given 203.9 gram so what is our moisture content so we use this equation we got the weight uh, green green wood weight minus the oven dry weight 203 divided by the oven dry weight 203.9 we got the 0 0.5571 multiplied by 100 so we got the percentage of moisture content which is 55.71 percent so that will be our answer so that is it for today thank you for watching um, we will make more videos so till then thank you see you in the next video